Howdy Moz fans and welcome to my Whiteboard Friday on Visual Search. Today I'm going to talk about the different optimizations that you can make for Visual Search and the different kinds of results that you might see for Visual Search content. Um, so what happens with Visual Search is that you would do some optimizations on your website, then the user would do a Visual Search and then they might get a different kind of result. So the kinds of optimizations that you should consider for Visual Search um, which is searches that are made via Google Lens or Pinterest uh, Lens or via Google's uh, or, or via Bing's um, image search tools um, will include image uh, image SEO around uh, making sure that you've got images that are performing well for image image SEO with like good file formats, titles, alt text, alt tags, schema, all of that sort of thing. Um, also, you're going to think about the kinds of entities which are within your photos. So um, visual search recognition software um, and tools, um, they can understand lots of different kinds of entities. There are a few that they prioritize in particular though, and they include logos, landmark, text, and entities, which I've called things in this particular in this particular instance, um, and just as a shorthand, but entities are essentially things that are found within the knowledge graph. Um, and then the other one you want to think about is your composition. So the composition that you have for your image will affect what Google understands the image to be about. So for instance, uh, the, the way that the different elements are positioned within an image can affect how Google understands the image. So I did an article for Moz at the beginning of the year where I compared a teapot and there was a teapot where the, the, uh, the handle was here and the spout was here and they understood that to be a teapot. And then when they turned it this way, they understood it to be a kettle and those are two different things. So the way that you, that you think about the composition for your image can affect it. Um, so make sure that you have clean and clear, clear images uh, and that also that you're thinking about your images being similar to user-generated content, particularly if you're in a B2C business, and also that you understand the primary focus. So for instance, if you had a photo of a bicycle and you were trying to emphasize the bicycle part of the, of the image, if you had somebody who was sitting on the bicycle or standing next to the bicycle and they were taking up most of the image, Google would think that that picture was more about that person than it was about the, about the bicycle. So think about where the primary focus is in your image in order to optimize for visual search. You also wanna think about contrast, just making sure that it's very clear uh, what the focus of the image is, um, and so that you've got whatever is the focus of your image very clear and easy to decipher, not too busy if, if you need it to be about a single thing. So these different elements are things that you should consider when you're optimizing your images for visual search, particularly for, for, um, for Google Lens. And as you go, as users come, carry out a visual search. So for instance, if you use Google Lens and you take a picture of a butterfly or a caterpillar or a flower or a chocolate donut, <laughs> um, you're gonna get lots of different types of results. So first of all, you may very well get an image pack result. Um, and this will be, this will, will include some of the information that we were talking about before. So the difference between, between visual search and image search SEO is that in an image search SEO, like when you go to the image tab um, within Google, you can enter the word chocolate donut. But let's say you didn't know what a chocolate donut was, or let's say it was a different language and you didn't know the local word for, for a chocolate donut. Then what would happen is that Google would you, the user would make the search of the chocolate donut and Google would, would use its, uh, its tools like Vision AI, for instance, to understand that that's a chocolate donut. And then they would, they would look through their images to understand which ones had text cues that were talking about chocolate donuts and that sort of thing. Um, so that would, that would have returned potentially some image pack information. Um, and also in the chocolate donut example in particular, it might return something like multi-search. So for instance, you would use, um, you would do a modification, like you might say, oh, chocolate or like a donut like this, but with sprinkles maybe, <laughs> um, for instance. You might also get a result that's around, that's around um, uh, Google Shopping, for instance. The other one you want to think about is um, the kinds of result you might get for different SERP features. So um, local pack is something that, that might come up. Also knowledge panel. So particularly with the entities, the, the entities may, be, may very well be attached to a specific knowledge panel. So for instance, logos for businesses or landmarks um, have, will have a knowledge panel. 
um, and also certain things, like if you were to think about something like Lego, that may very well have a, have a knowledge panel as well. And landmarks, again, will also could very well uh, be showing in a Google Maps. So think about the kinds of SERP features that you might, might show there. And that means that you, you could also, while you're optimizing this, as part of your optimization for visual search, you might think about the optimizations that you make for these, for these types of SERP results as well. Finally, the other the other kinds of search or the the other kinds of results that, that Google might give to someone when they make a visual visual search uh, is a visual match. So visual matches are images that look really similar to to the the picture that the person took, and the these will sometimes return an image pack, so sometimes return local pack, they'll, and they'll sometimes just return a general SERP result, like including a feature feature snippet that might have an image in it. Um, you might also see see something for a Google Business Profile. So if there is something that's local that has that, then they may very well get a get a Google Business Profile um, visual match, and also just general web web content that might come through there. So so there's lots of different opportunities to return a visual match. But this one is particularly good when you're thinking about the the composition of your images. So if you have a lot of a lot of uh, footfall, if you have a lot of interaction with customers where they are reviewing your content, where they are visiting your, your establishment, and they're creating a lot of user-generated content, then think about how you can create images and add images to your, to your website that, that satisfy the visual match queries um, that users might be making. And I think there's some great opportunities across visual search in the next few years. Google's been investing in this quite a lot. And I think that, that this is an opportunity for businesses of all sizes. And I hope to see more people getting involved with visual search optimizations.